Shalom, shalom, giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Ruchah HaKodash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who are learned the truth of the gospel of Yahweh Shai from. Honest to you brothers that are pushing the gospel of Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, in all sincerity, diligence, and truth. And peace and grace and blessings be upon the house of David, which is the elect, the men, women, and children that are predestined to receive salvation and to be the first fruits of the kingdom of heaven, which is the kingdom of Israel. It's the brother Itazawam um, from the Men of Valor camp. Um, so I just wanted to touch on this um, article. All right. Um, brother had put it in our group chat. And he's, you know, it's uh, real spiritual, uh, you know, because through the spirit, I was uh, meditating on, uh, you know, a topic, something, uh, something to speak on. OK. And I'm, I was like trying to find uh, some uh, news articles and, you know, things of that nature. Um, but I couldn't really come across anything. So, um, <laughs> I'm in a group chat with a um, couple of uh, friends that I have in the world, you know, that I grew up with. Um, and, you know, they're, you know, one of them just had a, a baby and another one just um, uh, uh, closed on a house um, today. So both of those things happened today. And, you know, it's a group chat about about like 10 or 12 people in it. And everybody's, you know, congratulating everybody. And um, what's interesting is one of the um, which was a thumbnail that I have here. Uh, one of the um, people that's in the group chat says, uh, congrats, everyone, 2022 looking good. And then somebody um, uh, uh, said, great. And right when that happened, that's when I got this article that the brother had posted, which you, uh, you see right here, um, says breaking news, Russia, quote, exploring options for massive cyber attacks against U.S. All right. And this is something that Biden said which came out today, March 21st, 2020. All right. And, you know, you know, immediately when I seen this uh, first, when I was seeing the group chat and I seen everybody, you know, in that in that uh, spirit, as they said that they were in the days of Noah. Um, and then I seen this, it just the Lord just had it, you know, everything just connected because this is what's going to happen to the majority of our people. You know, they're going to be uh, blinded, sidetracked. Uh, because of the, the the cares of this world, all right, and, and uh, you know the things that they got going on in their in, in you know in their own bubble, all right, that's that doesn't stop the prophecies of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai and the judgment that the Lord has set forth to come onto this world. Okay, now uh, the scripture says it. Let me get it real quick in the book of um, Second Ezra, the ninth chapter, and I'm gonna read the article. Uh, second Ezra chapter nine, verse one, it says, he answered me then and said, measure thou the time diligently in itself. And when thou seest part of the signs past, which I have told thee before, then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world, which he made. All right. And this is the, the Lord giving the signs and the tokens unto the uh, prophets. All right. And for the prophets to go out and to warn the uh, the hopeful elect so that they can uh, be worthy to escape these things that are coming upon the world. OK. And that's why it's it's an, an imperative that even though we have our day to day, you know, things that we got to, you know, uh, do. All right. You know, uh, 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 our our day to day uh, vexations and struggles and responsibilities that we got to take care of at the end of it. You know, we always have to. Uh, uh, make our provisions for the spirit. Okay, we always have to be locked in. Okay, uh, uh, to the prophecies of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, because the Lord is is moving. All right, the Lord is acting and He's doing things that majority of this world is not uh, um, even mentally prepared for. Okay, and that's why even when you go to Second Ezra the eighth chapter, when you go to the, the last verse there. Ezra says, Behold, I, O Lord, now that has showed me the multitude of thy wonders, which thou wilt begin to do in the last times, but at what time thou hast not showed me. All right. And that's where he said in verse uh, chapter nine, verse one and two, that we have to do what? Measure the times diligently. And if you're measuring the times, that means that you are being active. OK, and that you're being consistent. OK, and in being a watchman. All right. And being in tuned with the uh, uh, the 
the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, which ultimately you can only do that through the Holy Spirit. All right. So we now we know that the Lord is visiting the earth. Now, um, one of those visitations <laughs> that the Lord is going to do is going to be by way of, you know, uh, the, the economic uh, collapse, which is going to bring in, you know, very tumultuous times upon the masses of these of these people. All right. Because these people are very dependent and very um, oblivious also to the fact that they are 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 they think that this place in the in the modern or should not say modern, but the, the common course and status quo of their everyday life will never be disrupted, will never be, you know, upheaved. All right. But yet, while they're all, you know, in this mindset of 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 uh, marrying, let me get that scripture real quick. Um, Matthew chapter 24, verse uh, 37, it says, but as the days of Noah were, so shall also the coming of the son of man be. This is Yahweh Shai red letter speaking. Okay. So the Lord gives us another sign. He gives us another token, but this is only for the ones who are watching only for the ones who believe. So it says, for as in the days of for as in the days that were before the flood, they were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage until that day, until the day that Noah entered into the ark. And we are entering into our spiritual ark. OK, we're building the spiritual ark right now. All right. By way of what? Uh, first and foremost, repenting, coming back to the Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai and calling upon those names. Pursuant to Proverbs, the 18th chapter, the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous runneth into it and are safe, right? Verse 39, it says, and knew not until the flood came, all right? Although, okay, and, and, and the people that I'm in this group chat with, they know, all right, what I'm about, all right? They, like I said, I've been friends with them since, uh, uh, you know, some of them since elementary school, but majority of them, all right, since middle school and high school. So they know, you know, uh, uh, um, you know what I've, uh, um, since I've been in the truth, what I have been, you know, speaking about, of course, when you become a prophet, the first people that you tell are people that, you know, um, you know, personally, as you know, the Lord said that um, a prophet is not honored in, uh, you know, but without, but the prophet is not honored in his own country. All right. Meaning amongst the people that he knows, he's not going to be looked at as being a prophet. All right. And, and we all, you know, the brothers that have been teaching for a while, all right, starting with the, the elders, of course, and on down, we all have that same uh, experience, all right, of people that we know personally don't look at what we speak, all right, uh, as something of value, okay? So it says, ver uh, verse 39, it says, and knew not until the flood came and took them all away, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be, right? A, and these are signs of the coming of the Son of Man. So, they're not even they're not even a, a, a realizing of the potential of a massive cyber attack that is about to take place. OK, because they're too busy engulfed in their um in, in their in their uh, cares of this world. Let me get that real quick. You know, and that's one of my favorite scriptures, because this is this is the literal reason why majority of people are going to get caught, you know, slipping. <laughs> They're going to get caught, you know, with their with their uh, uh, hand in the cookie jar because they didn't do what? Take heed unto themselves. Luke 30, 21, verse 34. And take heed to yourselves, least at any time your hearts be overcharged with surfeiting and drunkenness and cares of this life. So that day come upon you unawares. All right. Now. Going to this article, which I'm not going to read the whole thing. It says President Joe Biden on Monday today issued a warning that the Russian government is preparing widespread cyber attacks against the United States. Now, whether or not this is a uh, um, will be a, 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 a F, you know, a, a, a F flag. OK. Or whether or not this is something that is, you know, being orchestrated on the uh, uh, world stage. All right. Because we do know that uh, that Russia all right, Putin was also amongst the uh, members of the World Economic Forum, which they're the ones who came out and basically said that there's going to be a massive cyber attack, all right, which is going to make the uh, the IMIC, 
look like a, a small uh, blimp of dis of disruption, okay, or whether or not this is something that Russia in itself is is really going to do at, in retaliation. All in all, this is something that we can clearly see is going to take place. The 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 how it's set up isn't really the uh, isn't really a a issue. It's the the a reaction. All right, it's the 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 problems that is going to come from this massive cyber attack. All right, which that is not is is going to not just be something that is going to mess up somebody you know economically, but they can attack the power grid. They can attack the water uh the water grid. Okay, they can attack you know the the internet. All right, which is which like I said before is going to cause mass hysteria, man. To the look to the likes of which has never been <laughs> since uh, you know in Babylon since there's been a nation as Yahweh Shai said that the time of tribulation is going to come you know that has never been on earth. Okay, so reading on it says Biden said that Russia Vladimir President Vladimir Putin would be responding to the administration's crippling sanctions amidst Putin invasion of Ukraine. So he's speaking as if he already knows that. This is something that is going to take place. OK, he said that they are preparing a widespread cyber attacks against the United States and Russia. Putin has said before, or oh, maybe somebody in his administration said, basically, if if uh, these sanctions that America is doing, that Russia was going to respond and it wasn't going to be uh, uh, um, it wasn't going to be a, 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 a symmetrical response, meaning that it wasn't going to be an eye for an eye. Or tooth for a tooth, okay, is going to be something that is going to go above what is uh, uh, the sanctions that Russia is doing to America, okay. Which, which once again, this is going to be the catalyst that 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 these uh, elites, all right, the, the 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 wicked rulers of the darkness of this world uh, are going to use in order to implement and bring forth that. Um, that uh, fourth industrial revolution, which is going to be tied to the MOTB. OK, something that once again, through the spirit, we have been preaching and warning about. All right, because these words are written. And as Yahweh, uh, let me get that. As Yahweh uh, uh, told Ezra in second Ezra, the 15th chapter, it says, behold, speak thou the ears, speak thou in the ears of my people. OK, which is who we you know go and, and, and warn to, all right, he says, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy which I will put in thy mouth, saith the Lord, and cause them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true, okay? So these words, which these words are the, the prophetic words of Yahweh, Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai, are written, okay, and we are going out there and prophesying it, because why? Because they are faithful and true. So none of these none of these words are going to fail. Okay. It is also written that what his word does not come back to him void. So everything written is written to be accomplished. All right. So let's read on. It says, I have previous. This is Biden speaking. I have previously warned about the potential that Russia could conduct malicious cyber activity against the United States. All right. Um, against the United States, President Joe Biden said in a statement, including as a response to the unprecedented economic costs we've imposed on Russia alongside our allies and partners, it's part of Russia's playbook. Today, my administration is reiterating those warnings based on evolving intelligence that the Russia government is exploring options for potential cyber attacks. All right. And once again, they talked about this two years ago, warned that a cyber attack was imminent, set up a stage, set up a a, a, um, a cause for those cyber attacks, uh, namely this uh, whole event, which is happening here now uh, over there in Ukraine. What the hell? Okay. And then use that event to have this uh, uh, um, cyber attack happen, and then they can do what? But blame blame Russia for this, and then say, well, because this this current system is now compromised, 
we have to uh, bring in this digital system. All right. And when you go into the um, um, it's like it. When you go into the um, uh, uh, form. Or, or it was like a um, not a form. It was a uh, damn. What's the word I'm looking for? It was a it was a uh, a dialogue, for lack of a better word, that the World Economic Forum came out with, uh, back in uh back in uh, February, and they basically said that they're that the new that the future that they're looking for is going to be completely digital, all right. But they need a reason to bring in this digital uh, system, all right. Hey, and tomorrow is three twenty two twenty two, all right. That which we know that is a a, a high um. High witchcraft a uh, uh, day or number num numerology that these elites on the left hand side be working with, so marvel not man. And we in the month, uh, the the month of uh, uh the god of war, all right, Marcius, okay. Which you have the 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 these elites they still do uh, certain sacrifices and things on certain days and months, going back to their uh, uh the, the Romans and the Greeks, okay. So this is why we have to be consistently and always upon our watch, man. Um, reading on, it says, um, from day one, my administration has worked to strengthen our national cyber defenses, mandating extensive cybersecurity measures for the federal government and those critical infrastructure sec sectors where we have authority to do so. The banks, all right, these other different uh, um, uh, private sector companies. All right, certain hospitals, right? Um, the the the, the uh, energy companies, we your PSENG, which we got over here on the East Coast. Okay, um, it says in those critical infrastructure sectors, which we have authority to do so, in creating innovative public-private partnerships and innovatives and initiatives to enhance cybersecurity across all of our critical infrastructure. Right, because they could they can use this, and then. Bring in the public sector, which is the, the federal government, all right, to take over these private sectors. And that goes into what they deem the um, uh, the World Economic uh, Forum deemed what? Uh, you will own nothing and be happy because they can just transfer all of the private sectors to the federal um, uh, government or a.k.a. the public sector. Right. So it says. Congress has partnered with us on these efforts. We appreciate the members of Congress worked across the aisle to require companies to report cyber incidences to the United States government. My administration will continue to use every tool to deter, disrupt, and if my administration will continue to use a Salakia, I guess that was a typo, and if necessary, respond to cyber attacks against crit critical infrastructure. So, like I said, See, these, these elites, man, they're trying to play the most high. So they're trying to say things before it happens, right? The what we always mention, the Hegelian dialectic, problem, reaction, solution. So they're trying to be like the most high and, and telegraph, you know, uh, uh, what is about to happen. So then when it does happen, they can say, oh, we prepared, you know, we told you this was going to happen. We know who did it and we know how to uh, uh, solve it. And the, the, the way to solve it is to move to this fourth industrial revolution, digital currency. All right. Which we're we're, we're going to have the MOTB as the medium of exchange. All right. Hey, the scripture tells you, man, that what uh, um, we are not ignorant of Satan devices, man. We can see right through this. But only reason why we can see it is because the Lord has given us a spirit to see the eyes to see. Because just as how. I'm seeing this and I'm you know speaking it, and the ones of you brothers and sisters that are listening, you're hearing it and seeing it and understanding it. You got people on the other side, all right, that I'm like I said, you know, that that I know that I'm in a group chat with, they, their minds is totally far removed from this, man. They're thinking that, you know, they got time to buy, you know, that they, they, got, they got their new house, all right, they got their children, you know, their newborn babies. That, that they're about to just watch grow up and, and have a great life. And they're trying to, you know, uh, set up a future for them. <laughs> but there is no, that, that future is, is, is not looking too good, man. All right. That future that you're thinking, that you're expecting is not going to come to fruition because 
the word and the will of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is what's going to stand. Okay, so now let me go back to Matthew 24, verse 30, uh, 42. It says, Watch therefore, for ye not know what hour your Lord doeth come. All right? And we don't know the hour, we don't know the day, but we know the season. All right, we know the signs. And that's why we have these signs, and that's why we are constantly watching for these things. Because these signs let us know that the that these days, all right, the days of trouble, the days of Jacob's trouble, the days of calamity, the days of woes are nigh, man. They're near. So with that, so with that understanding, what manner of person ought you to be in an all conver a whole, all holiness and conversation? What type of mindset are you supposed to be in if you have if you're privy to uh, uh what's about to go down? If you have the eyes to see and the ears to hear what the Lord is about to uh, uh, do, right? So it says, verse 43, but know this, that if the good man of the house had known in what watch the thief would come, he would have watched and would not have suffered his house to be broken up, okay? And that's who we are hoping to be, those good men, all right, that is doing the will of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah in sincerity and in truth, so that we are not caught off guard, okay? So that we are not, uh, 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 you know, um, caught unawares in this snare that's coming upon this whole world. And it says, therefore, be ye also ready for in such an hour as ye think not the son of man cometh. All right. So when you think that's why it says, oh, you also must be ready at all time. All right. We always got to stay ready. This The saying goes, if you stay ready, you don't got to get ready. All right. But these people in this world, they're not ready, man. Because they are caught up and tangled with the cares of this world. And once that time comes, all right, their whole life is going to shatter right before their eyes, man. And they're going to bug the hell out. Pursuant to Isaiah 33 and 6, wisdom, knowledge, understanding shall be the stability of our times. What do we have the wisdom and knowledge and understanding of? Of what? The prophecies of the judgment of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai and also knowing how to escape these things, Right? We know how to escape it. It's by what? Let's get let's get it. It's by our faith and by our works. Second Ezra, the ninth chapter, verse. Uh, where were we? Second Ezra nine, verse seven. And everyone that shall be saved shall be able to escape by his works, and by faith whereby ye have believed. All right. And we believe it, man. We believe that the Lord is about to is about to judge this world, man. And he's about to send his son back to set up righteousness on this earth. And that's what we desire, man. Okay? That's what we can't wait for. That's what we are hastening. And we just hope and pray that our diligence and our faithfulness to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai will be found worthy to escape these things that are coming. Because they are 100, 144% coming, man. All right? And we see it, hey, and they're talking about it in your everyday news. So, hey, you gotta get ready, okay? Hey, and, and don't be don't be too uh, uh, um, tied to the things of this world, because that's why a lot of people are gonna take that karagma because they're not gonna be able to let go. They're too attached to this world, but we're not of this world. All right, let me read this last thing. It says, if you have not already done so, I urge your private sector partners to harden your cyber defenses immediately by implementing the best practices we have developed together over the last year. Yeah. And those practices that they're talking about, they developed, they know that they got that Swiss cheese, man, because ultimately these uh, elites, they're, uh, they're all in cahoots. They know exactly what's going to come. They know that they know how to attack it. All right. They do their simulations. They run their simulations uh, uh, internationally wide. Okay. So that that they can uh, have this thing collapse and the people all right, the masses the, of the people are going to be the ones that are going to uh, uh, be in a pitiful case, man. So it says uh, you have the power, the capacity and the responsibility to strengthen the, the cybersecurity and resilience of critical services and technologies on the America on which American rely. We need everyone to do their part to meet one of our defining threats of our time. Your vigilance and urgency today can prevent or mitigate attacks tomorrow. And, and, and once again, that's all fluff talk. OK, because they 
they're the ones that's planning this. That's why they they know. OK, <laughs> so, hey, yeah, with that, you know, I just want to bring this out. Lord willing, it's edifying to the elect. Till next time. Shalom.